There will be time to reflect upon these days of war, but it is not here in these halls of death. Hold, the dragon enters. So you have arrived at last. You look weary, Mario. Moody. Perhaps you should yield before the fires of the gods take you. Spare me the pleasantries, dragon. Where is my betrothed? She is no longer yours to claim. Would it pain you to know she came willingly? No woman as fair as she could look upon such a monster with anything but scorn. And yet she saw in me more power, more strength than she ever saw in you, lonely lover. I will hear no more of your dark speech. Give her to me or I shall tear out your foul blackened heart and turn your corpse a feast for carrion. Indulge me then, you <laughs> sad fool, for the flames of my avarice will dissolve you until nothing remains but the ashes of your lament and your despair. <laughs> Look upon what my hate has wrought. The princess, she has all that brought me solace, all that brought me into my languished, sorrowful existence. In flames now, I wither into nothingness, alone and broken. Yet I care not that I pass into the void, loveless and without passion. But you, Mario, you too are fated to die alone. Your princess is not here. She sleeps in another castle, beyond the path of many stars. How curious that death is this, for I die now cursed. Brother, brother, how fair are you? Oh, God. She was always in another castle, never in my own. My hands are stained with blood, and as I stare into the very fires in which I cast the foul dragon, I find that I am no less callous than he, and my heart has grown cold, empty. To no other castles, brother. Fate gives us only one withering tower. It's in that tower we must live, till I choose to live in mine no more. Brother, <laughs> do not do this thing. There is freedom beyond the void. There was never any freedom, Luigi. We are all doomed men. Farewell. I search for her in flames. <laughs> never any princess waiting for me. Why? Why must I stand condemned to be free?